Doctors have been looking at EEG recordings for decades to tell whether a patient is having a seizure, but new research suggests they might have better luck listening to the data. A team at Stanford has found a way to convert EEG data into sound, allowing healthcare providers to more quickly identify a person having seizures, potentially speeding up their diagnosis and care. The data conversion uses a unique algorithm that changes fluctuations in the brain's electrical activity into audible output in real time without distorting the EEG information. The recordings offer a way for anyone, from the first-year medical student to the skilled neurologist, to quickly identify abnormal brain activity as it's happening, right at a patient's bedside. The need for the technique arises from the fact that not all seizures generate the rhythmic muscle contractions known as convulsions. Non-convulsive or silent seizures may only alter a patient's mental state, causing confusion or loss of consciousness. This makes it difficult for emergency room providers to tell what's going on. Even when an EEG is ordered, most departments have only a few specialists skilled in reading the data, meaning a person could be seizing for hours before they're diagnosed. To test whether listening to brain activity enables earlier seizure detection, the team created sound bites from normal and abnormal EEG data collected from 84 patients. Spikes in brain activity caused by seizures produce a characteristic loud rhythmic pattern. <laughs> that could be easily distinguished from the quieter, smoother activity of a normal brain. Neurologists specialised in reading EEGs reviewed visual displays of each recording to identify seizures and other abnormal activity. Then, medical students and nurses classified each audio recording as normal or seizure-like. Using the sound bites, the untrained individuals recognise seizures 97% of the time, showing equal or better performance than the neurologists using the visual data. The medical students were also more successful at picking out seizures with the sound files than the visual traces. These findings suggest that listening to an EEG may allow nearly any healthcare provider to determine whether a patient is seizing. Although the method can't replace the nuances of traditional EEG interpretation, the quick and accurate identification of seizure activity could be a game-changer for settings that demand a rapid response to provide the best care.